Hi, everyone. Paul Bertarelli reporting from NBAA in Las Vegas, and you're looking at the GE H80 turboprop engine, formerly the Walters M601, which GE has invested quite heavily in to upgrade. And Matthew Garris is going to tell us what exactly they did to improve this engine. So GE acquired the Walter engine business in 2008 and started with the basic M601 engine. Building upon that, we injected GE technology into the engine to give it world-class performance. Starting with the compressor, we brought in 3D aerodynamics, titanium uh, materials, and um, blisks for reduced vibration. Um, moving through the engine, uh, we improved the turbine materials and aerodynamics. Um, and those two combined dramatically improve the efficiency and power output of the engine as well as its hot, hot day performance. Um, some of the interesting things about the engine that make it unique in the market space, uh, this engine does not have uh, traditional fuel nozzles. It has an internal fuel slinger. Um, and what that does for you is uh, it removes uh, any uh, fuel contamination and coking issues. It gives you a nice even fuel distribution in the combustion chamber and, and eliminates any sort of hot spots or erosion in the combustion liner. Um, and, and ultimately what that nets out for is no fuel nozzle maintenance and also no hot section inspection. So the only shop visit required for this engine is the overhaul. So when we talk about 3D uh, aerodynamic design, essentially uh, traditional design or, or, or 2D uh, if you look at the, the shape of the blade, uh, it's, it's essentially the same uh, cross-section all the way up. When you get the uh, 3D, not only do you get a, a, a change in the twist and camber of the blade, you also get a, a, a difference in the, in the uh, uh, external shape. And that's because of modern computing technologies, uh, we're able to design uh, the blades to optimize their performance. Um, GE has been perfecting this technology throughout its commercial and military engines, and at this point we're on our uh, fourth generation, we say fourth generation of uh, 3D aerodynamic blade design. The base engine we have is a hydromechanical um, engine. Um, we also have a push button auto start capability. Uh, and on starting, what that'll do is it'll uh, monitor the engine and it'll, it'll limit the uh, temperature and speed of the engine and bring the engine up to idle for, for the pilot to take over. Uh, a recent introduction uh, announcement by GE Aviation was we are developing an electronic engine control uh, for this engine, which will remove the hydromechanical unit and replace it with a fuel metering unit. We'll um, add a electronic prop governor um, and we'll have a, a, e, a separate EEC box. And what that will enable us to do is the EEC will control not only the engine but also the propeller governor and it will we'll be able to remove the uh, throttle or the propeller lever out of the, out of the cockpit uh, essentially giving a single lever power control of the, of the engine itself. So the, the H series, as we call it, is, is consists of three engine models, an H75 engine at 750 horsepower, an H80 at 800 horsepower, and an H85 at 850 horsepower. Um, the engine is used in a variety of applications, uh, from agricultural aircraft, through commuter and utility aircraft, all the way up to uh, a business class aircraft, as with the, the new uh, Nextant G90 XT. So it's a very versatile engine, um, has a variety of applications. Um, the, the basic uh, TBO of the uh, H-Series is 3,600 hours. Uh, with the H75 engine, because the engine is run slightly derated, we're able to increase the overhaul of the engine to uh, TBO to 4,000 hours. And um, again, no hot section and no fuel nozzle maintenance.